as you may already know, my name is Melody. Um, what I'm going to talk about today, um, I'm going to outline the facts and statistics surrounding college students, the benefits of a college degree, and the roadblocks in our way. So, uh, I'm going to say, let's graduate. Honestly, think about that. Let's graduate. How many of you know that without a doubt, you're going to graduate college? <laughs> Great. I'm glad that most of you raised your hands. But I want to, I want to show you a couple of statistics I found. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, 46% of college students drop out. 30 to 50% actually finish on time. Now, I know this may be shocking, or maybe even scary. I, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, am I gonna drop out? Like, 46%, how much harder does this get? You know, <laughs> is something crazy about to happen? I'm gonna drop out of college. I'm like rolling the dice here, 50-50. Um, but there's, a, there's roadblocks that we all, each and every one of us face every day. And I'm gonna get into that. But, uh, I mean, why do you think we're quitting? You know, wh why do you think maybe it's too hard? Do you think maybe people think it's just not worth it? I mean, what do you think? Family, and yeah, stress. Definitely. Um, sure. There's definite benefits to graduating college. Uh, a few of the statistics that I had found um, are that according to an article called Making College Worth It, an adult with a bachelor's degree earns 84% more over a lifetime than a high school student because if you don't graduate college, then what, you're a high school student, or a high school graduate, you know? Um, an adult with an associate degree earns 75% more than a high school student. So if you're looking here, uh, you can see master's degree, bachelor's, associates, um, and high school diploma, and less than high school diploma. Um, I don't know about you, but I mean, I, I wouldn't be up here. I wouldn't be, you know, associate's degree, bachelor's degree. And not only do you enjoy, I mean, you get the benefits of earning more, being able to support your family, support yourself. There's drastically low em employment rates um, for college students. A college student with an associate degree has their employment rate is around 4.5% rather than 6 per, 6 or actually from, again, the, uh, the Making College Worth It, the article for Making College Worth It, um, college grad students that weren't graduates had an unemployment rate of about 8.4%. So with these benefits, why do you think we're quitting? I mean, you can make more money. You're more likely to get a job. You Stuff know, happens. Stuff happens, definitely. The reasons why we are quitting. Um, according to the Pew Research Center, uh, being unable to balance school, a job, a family, these are top reasons why we're dropping out. Um, as you can see, financial pressure makes up 38% of the reason why we're dropping out. And it makes sense if you think about it. I thought for sure, looking into this more, it would probably be, you know, family or, you know, something, transportation. Um, but financial pressure. And, and I get that because going into applying for these loans, it's almost terrifying. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be in debt for the rest of my life taking out all this money, you know? And then while you're in school, you're also working. I mean, most of us are adults. We have a home, we have, you know, or we have a car payment, we have children we have to support. We can't not work, you know? We have to work. So that brings us to the second. D academic disqualification is another reason why we're dropping out. Why? Because we're working. We're working to support our families. So we have less time with schoolwork, or you know, we have like myself. My son was involved in sports, and I wanted to be there for everything. And and it came time to where I had papers due, or I had something I had to do. But I was like, 
this is so important to me, I put that off, and there's plenty of times I probably shouldn't, you know? Um, but th these, are, these are reasons why we're, we're quitting. But isn't it ironic that this should be the reasons why we are finishing school? Financial reasons, to support your family, for your kids, you know? Um, this is why I want you to use your motivators, you know? If you have kids, you see them every day, or, w or when you do, you know, let that be your reason. I'm gonna finish because I wanna make a better life for them. I wanna make a better life for myself. I wanna make, you know, a better life for even your extended family, you know? Graduating has life-changing results. Every aspect of your life is gonna, it's gonna improve drastically. And not just financial, I mean, I get it. I know a lot of people go to college, you know, they, they want to pursue it because this is their dream. This is what they want to do. But with finishing, all the benefits to help you support your family. Um, so have plans A, B, and C ready to go. And what I mean by that is, um, again, myself personally, daycare. Daycare was, I, I didn't trust anybody to watch my son. I'm like this panic freak, like I can't trust anybody. So for me, it was searching and finding the right daycare, which is they're expensive, which brings me back to financial. Oh my gosh, I need to I need to work more now, which you know takes away from school. But um, I, I have now that's my struggle. I have plans A, B, C, D, E, F, G ready because I know the finishing college will benefit me. It's going to benefit my family. Um, but loans. Uh, you know, financial is one of the reasons why I'm not paying. So loans, um, maybe speak with your parents if, you, if they're able to help you, you know. Um, go to, you know, search different loans or scholarships. Fastweb.com is a website. Um, Matt Miller actually directed me to that website, and it's, it's with scholarships. It's numerous, hundreds of thousands of scholarships. You can go on there, type your information in, see what you qualify for. Even if it's just $1,000, hey, $1,000 is going to help in the end. Um, and also currently, I, did, I don't know if you guys knew it or not, but with um, PERSing, if you make direct payments to the school, the school will match your payments up to 100%. I mean, as of me right now, if I make a payment, the school will match my payment up to 75% each month. Each month. So say, you know, if they're going to match 100%, you make $200 payment, they'll match that $200. Now you just pay $400 towards school. So that's something to think about. Think about your finances. Stay in school. Finish. Finish. Um, transportation, again, have the A, B, C, D ready to go. Know how you're going to get here. Um, in conclusion, a degree will grant you a very successful career. Don't let those roadblocks stand in your way. I hope I've persuaded you to not only finish college, but extend your success beyond that. Go get your bachelor's. Get your master's. Get your doctoral degree. <laughs> I want to see each and every one of you on graduation day. There's a few of you that I know in my class, and I will see you there. <laughs> but the other, I hope, I hope you make it to graduation day.